In today's video, I want to show you how to silence your MultiPlus 2 5kVA inverter because the fan noise can be quite annoying if it's close to a room where you live. So yeah, today we want to have a look at the different methods from a firmware upgrade to swapping out the fan or putting some foam between the fan and the chassis of the inverter. So there are a couple of methods how you can reduce fan noise effectively. And I also did some measurement to show what is the most effective way to reduce fan noise. Fan noise was quite an issue. So Victron also released a retrofit board that you can mount into the unit without removing it from the wall. It's a little PCB and here you find in this list the affected serial numbers and after these dates the problem has been fixed. And this here is the part number and you can contact your Victron dealer, give him the serial number of your MultiPlus and then you get such a board for free. And they even show you how to install the board inside the unit. So make sure to follow the instructions. I also installed one of those PWM controller boards and what they do is they increase the PWM frequency. It's basically a DC to DC converter because the stock MultiPlus has a pretty low PWM frequency at low fan speeds and therefore it sounds a bit like a rattling noise. So in order to get the fan sound smoother, they develop this board that you can yeah, just install now. During my tests, I found out that updating the firmware is actually the best way to improve fan noise. So my unit was shipped with firmware 498. And I had a look at what they improved since then. And here they did a little bit of improvement on smaller MultiPlus units regarding PWM, fan drivers. With the firmware update to 507 or higher, they also did quite some tweaking regarding the fan noise. And they claim that it's only for units from 2022, week 25, up to 2023 and week 17. But I figured out that also for the older units, this fan noise tweaking really helps reducing the fan noise. So right now the unit has 508 installed, a test unit. And I will show you the differences between 498 and 507 or 508, yeah. You will see the differences, you can hear the differences. Let's quickly have a look at this paper that they released in November 23. So here they actually claim that the firmware upgrade does not apply to the older units, you know, up to 2022, week 24. They say it doesn't apply, but my testing shows something completely different. So let's have a quick look at the test setup. I connected this MultiPlus 2 to the grid to just discharge the energy from the battery into the grid. And with the ESS from Victron, I selected grid feed in 4,300 watts, 2,400 watts and 1,100 watts. In a distance of 80 to 90 centimeters from the unit, I placed this little decibel meter to record the values. It's not the most accurate and most scientific approach, of course, but it's good enough to give me a rough understanding of how the noise levels are. 
the moment you have all been waiting for. <laughs> Let me explain. So this is the graph and up here, that is the decibel value of the inverter stock firmware 498 with 4,300 watts of power. Then the second value here in orange, that's 2,400 watts of power. And the green value down here is 1,100 watts of power. That is the power where the MultiPlus runs most efficient. So after updating the firmware, you find these results here. It's incredible how much they dialed in the fan curve and reduced overall fan noise. So if you only do one thing, just apply the firmware update and everything is much better already. Especially in the low RPM range, when there's only a small load on the inverter, you have a significantly reduced fan noise. So now I went ahead and added this uh, 40 kilohertz PW ohm converter board from Victron. Look what happens. <laughs> the fan noise goes slightly up or is about the same. The thing is my meter cannot measure everything. I can only see like the total numbers, but the quality of noise is different. So here we have still kind of a rattling noise. Here it's far more smooth. It's a soft noise. Even so, the numbers on screen here increased slightly by up to one decibel. Keep in mind that my test setup is not 100% accurate. And also for the ears, this 52.5 decibel, for example, sounded a bit nicer than this 51.5 decibel here. But also maybe, you know, the room temperature might have increased during testing two or three degrees more. And maybe the, the temperature sensor in the MultiPlus told it to go a bit faster. So yeah, it's not a 100% result here. So it's still recommended for the older units to add this PWM controller here to reduce fan noise. It works. Then the next step is to add some foam between the fan and the chassis of the inverter. And I will show you how I did it in a second. And adding the foam layer in between reduced these values. So having this foam in there is actually helpful and I can highly recommend that to further decrease the volume. And the last step is, I will show you in a minute, it's swapping out the fan entirely. So I opted in for a Noctua fan. In this case, it's a 24 volt a four pin fan, but you can also just drive it with two pins just fine. For whatever reason, the Noctua fan is half a decibel louder than the stock fan. But as I said, maybe my measurement was a bit off. But overall, especially in the partial load range, the Noctua fan is just better. And at the end of the video, I'll also show you the direct difference of these two fans next to each other. In order to remove the fan, I tilted the units to the side and you have to open these two screws. can take out the fan and you can see how it's mounted in there. And here on the metal bracket of the fan I will install a layer of foam and it is this one side of the foam you can peel off and now it's sticky. But you can use any type of foam actually. And then you put it on here. Ideally, you first punch two holes through it, but you can also do that later. But that's enough for the screws to find the thread. 
make sure you don't over tighten these screws because otherwise you will squeeze the foam. One could also install such a Noctua fan for example or from a different brand. Just to show you some specs of this particular one that I've got here. It's a 24 volt PWM fan and it comes with a 4 pin PWM connector uh, but you can also use it just with two wires, it's no problem. Yeah, you can just um, use the black wire as a ground wire and the yellow wire as the plus wire. I guess the results speak for themselves and the Yamicon fan is quite a bit louder, so swapping it out with, for example, a Noctua fan works actually pretty well. But you also have to take into consideration that the Noctua fan has a bit less power consumption, but also a bit less power, actually. Six watts on the Victron. Ha! <laughs> My god. Now we should compare the wind speed actually. There is the wind speed at exactly 12 volts. And that's the wind speed of the Noctua at exactly 12 volts. And here you have the results in comparison, just in a graph. Here on the left you see the Yamicon and here on the right the Noctua fan. And yeah, the Yamicon actually produces a bit more wind speed than the Noctua, but also at the cost of a higher power consumption. So I think Victron opted in for the Yamicon because it's a kind of affordable industrial fan with longevity in mind and also you can use it well in hot climate because it moves a lot of air. So I removed this bracket from the Yamicon fan that was installed before by stock from Victron and I connected the bracket to the Noctua fan and here you can see it's a bit more slim and also the screws on the other side do not fit I mean you could use longer screws but yeah I think this is solid enough so <laughs> there is no need to install more screws here. If you connect your Noctua fan directly to the board then you connect it like this. On the right there is black, on the left there is red and on the board there is even written a small plus for the fan down here. It's a bit hard to see. That is how you connect it on the little board. And then this goes in here. To reduce the humming sound of the inverter, I recommend you to use those wall plugs from rubber rubberized wall plugs. In this case this is a 10 millimeter one. You also get them in 12 millimeter. And those really help you to reduce structure born sounds. I hope this video was useful for some of you and let me know in the comments if you find it necessary to reduce the fan noise of this MultiPlus 2 inverter charger and what your preferred method is.